Good afternoon, YouTube. Hello from New York. You feel like summertime. You took this heart of mine. You'll be my Valentine in the summer. In the summer. This feels good. I feel like I haven't picked up the camera and just vlogged one-on-one -on -one with you guys lately. So this is a great opportunity to do this. We just got to our hotel. This is the view from our hotel room. We are staying in the financial district. How beautiful is that building right there? Over to the left is the East River. And straight in front of us is the Freedom Tower. Way up there, it's pretty tall. If I had to compare it to Vancouver, it's kind of like Gastown and the Financial District on steroids, and then a little bit of Stanley Park, like a tiny bit, which is Central Park. But I feel like Vancouver is like the, the little puppy version of New York. Anyways, we are here for 24 hours, so we're doing a super quick trip. Um, this was very last minute. I didn't even actually know if I was going to get on the plane or not, so I'm very happy that I did and that we're here. Okay, we right? We're just trying to decide what we're going to do for dinner. I just posted on my Instagram asking you guys for some recommendations for where to go, and I got some good ones. Someone is recommending to go, if we want to go for Chinese, then the Han Dynasty is good. If we want to go for Mexican, Alves, or Italian, ca ca Caccio al Pepe, e Pepe. I totally said that correctly. And someone else recommended that we go to the ABC restaurant, uh, which I looked at that online and that looks like a really good choice. Um, very rustic interior, kind of like farm fresh local food, which I thought might be cool. I'm gonna get ready real quick and then I will see you guys shortly. Ready. What do you think? Cute, street, New York-ish? Or do I look like I'm ready to go work in a sushi restaurant? Okay, bandana is from Banana Republic. I am wearing a tank top just from Sara. These shorts, you probably would have seen these on my Instagram before. These are Club Monaco. And then Gladiator sandals that I have from BCBG. These are super comfortable. We're gonna do a bunch of walking. And it is super, super hot outside. It's like 7 p.m., 35 degrees. So we are dressed for comfort. that is from local artisans and stuff like that. So this came recommended by someone on my Instagram, but we also found it on uh, the Time Out magazine online. Sounds like it's gonna be good and I'm down for some local organic vegetarian food. Are you? I'm starving. Are you laughing because I'm vlogging? I'm walking no. around the street holding a camera and vlogging? You said it's vegetarian food, but it's not vegetarian. It's not vegetarian? <laughs> No, it's an organic restaurant. Oh, it's just an organic restaurant. Okay, that's still good. Wait. Okay, it's not vegetarian. This is an Ansax home decor store with like all the tile and fixtures and finishes. We spec their stuff all the time. Cucumber 
appetizer. Tasted kind of Japanese. We had some tempura string beans with a creme fraiche like dipping sauce. That was really, really good. And then we had the carrot and avocado salad, highly recommended. The ravioli, that was very good actually. I really like the ravioli. And then the chicken at the end, which was a little vinegary, a little peppery, hard to eat. I did eat the whole thing. <laughs> I was starving. Yeah, totally what, so. what was your favorite dish? Mm, the ravioli for sure. The ravioli? Yeah. Yeah, the ravioli was pretty good. Well, yeah, thank you to you guys on Instagram who suggested going to ABC restaurant. Definitely, definitely worth it. The thing that I love about New York and just love about big cities in general is that it's 9.15 on a Monday night and it's busy, it's bustling. There are people moving around, going for coffee, <laughs> hanging out, walking the streets. Yep. I don't think Vancouver is that busy just vibing. at 9.15 p.m. on a Monday night, I'm just saying. Okay, this is a big deal. I'm making a whip. What are you reaching for it? in the water. <laughs> Where are we? Washington Square in Midtown Manhattan. NYU. NYU. Okay. He's my global tour guide. <laughs> it's true. Exactly. right now. That's how hot and muggy it is here right now. It's probably 34 already. Look at look at this. Look at this. Going through? Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I like him. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. It is day two in New York. Our final day. We only have a few hours and we're headed over to the Arlo Hotel which is over in Soho. Some of my favorite interior designers and architects of Rocco um, who have been a huge inspiration of ours over at House of Bon designed Arlo. It's one of their newer hotels so we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so this hotel has an outdoor space and right in the middle of the outdoor courtyard there are these tents and little like camp zones with loungers where you can just sit and chill, use Wi-Fi and hang out. I kind of feel like I'm actually back in BC. <laughs> in Soho here. Okay, very full after that duck prosciutto and guir sandwich. Another carrot and avocado salad which was delicious and I think rather than trying to rush to a gallery we may just hang out in Soho, walk around and see what we see what we find. Like this antique shop. This is cool. behind me. That 
one says 368. And you guys know what 368 means in New York. It's Casey Neistat's building. It's all boarded up though. I don't think you can go inside. Should we try? they're gonna do sales out of there <laughs> sometime soon it says all sales are final oh really I feel like it's gonna be a merch store maybe when you first walk in sweating sweating yeah. like crazy sweat stash and sweat beard <laughs> after Stopping by 368. Unfortunately, no, no Casey Neistat. He didn't pop out of the doors like I was hoping he would. So we are on the High Line, and the High Line is basically this big walking overpass that cuts through the city. It's an old elevated uh, train track. Oh, it's there you go. Engine. It's an old elevated train track which they've turned into a green space and a walkway. So this is pretty cool. It's very calming walking through the High Line. We were just commenting on how this is a very relaxing way to see the city. You're out of the grit and the busyness of the streets. You're avoiding all the traffic. There's trees and nature and flowers and plants. It's cool. Well, that's kind of what I love about New York though, is the disgustingness of yeah. it. Yeah, the busyness, the smells. We did encounter some pretty gross smells, actually. The grit, the people, the population, the yelling, the taxis, the traffic. I think that's all part of the charm of New York. I think I'm gonna end my vlog here. You're gonna end it here? I think I'm gonna end it here. No, you won't. You don't think so? No. Why not? Uh, no, there's no play home. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I did another vlog of New York. About a year ago, so we'll link that up somewhere here or here in case you guys want to see that one. Let me know if you like this vlog, let me know what your favorite part was. Um, yeah, and as always, if you liked this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and uh, thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> this is literally my favorite thing in the mornings. Sitting on my lap. So, just in case you guys are just as excited about this cake as I am.